Today we are going to create this awesome Vox style animation in DaVinci Resolve. Let's go to FX in the top right, add the fusion composition and open it. Grab a background node, connect it to the media out, then add a merge node and a text node. Change the size to 0.08, tracking to 1.01, .01. the font to Georgia regular and write your text. Add another merge node, a rectangular mask and a background node. Connect everything together. Set the initial background to transparent. Then go to the second background and change it to white. Go to the rectangular mask. Set soft edge to 0.0047, width to 0.33 and height to 0.1. Now go to the merge node, change operator to mask and blend to 0.95. Now copy the rectangular mask by pressing Ctrl Shift V to create an instance. Add a background node and a merge node. Connect everything together. Go to the rectangular mask, right click and choose the instance for border width and soft edge. Set soft edge to 0 and the border width to 0.002. Right click the diamond next to the solid and select the instance. Then uncheck solid. Now change the text from white to black and add a merge node. Then a background node. Connect the background to the merge. Change the background color from black to white. Set the merge operator from over to under. Now add a paint node by pressing shift and spacebar. Connect the merge to the yellow input of the paint node. Then create another merge and connect the paint to the final merge. Go to polyline stroke and draw your highlight line. Then go to brush control, set the size to 0.05. For the color choose a light yellow, set opacity to 0.8 and change the merge to multiply. Now let's animate everything. Go to frame 0, open the layout tab and set a keyframe on the text. Go to frame 50, set another keyframe and move everything down. On the rectangular mask set a keyframe on the width, go to frame 50 and set another one. Then go back to frame 0 and set a width frame at 0.02. Open the spline tab, click on the text node and the rectangular mask. Enable show only selector tool and select both of them. Press Ctrl A then S to increase the spacing. Select everything, press T and increase the easing. Now go to the paint mode, at the frame 50 go to stroke control. In right on set a keyframe and finish the stroke at frame 70. Go back to frame 50 and lower the end to 0 to create a lighting effect. Back in the spline tab, deselect the start, press Ctrl A then S and increase the easing. Now add a film grain node. Click on the time lock and set the strength to 0.02 to get a grainy effect. Then add another node, stop motion and set it to 2. I will be posting new video soon with even more advanced animations. So make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like if this video was helpful and write in the comment if anything wasn't clear, I will personally reply to help you out.